Hello, Wayne Beals here, doing a little review of a couple of CAM programs for use with Ustream in our eco-community and eco-TV work. Now, the one I have here, I had hoped to bring you the trial version, I mean, the, the free version, uh, everything we're trying to build uh, at the community level is free and open source. Uh, this no longer screen camera no longer has a free version. So unfortunately, I'm reviewing a item that would cost, but maybe for our private inventory, uh, our video work, this would be handy. I'm going to start with uh, just the control. Uh, you probably can't see it there. I should find a way to bring it up quickly. Maybe just uh, going to screen camera here. So I'll just keep talking while I work to do that. Um, well, that proved harder to do than I had thought uh, originally. Well, here, while I'm talking, this is Nova, our new puppy. She's a miniature Australian Shepherd, uh, very miniature at this point. Uh, she's only about 18 pounds which you'll catch up to our other dog, Tanner, who at the moment is sitting on the other side of the couch. But for the time being, she uh, is appearing to be a little runt, but that's all right. So, screen camera. just to give you a, a look at the control panel with screen camera. Uh, some screenshots here. Hmm. Oh, that's oh, a screen camera. Download screen camera. Here we go. It's screen camera. Screen capture webcam. Uh, probably will give me. Yes, that's the one. A screenshot for you here. There we go. Uh, this right here is currently. The console that I'm using. Now, I guess you have many options. Uh, Picture uh, overhead. Uh, right now it's built in. Or these are just different. I don't know. This is a on-the-fly review as we learn uh, slowly as we go. But if you can see here on the control panel, I'm going to just choose these one by one as we work our way across. We can describe the nine buttons across the bottom of the control panel screen. This uh, control panel and the window above it are ever-present and on top of all the other windows on your screen that are being captured and used for broadcasting. So starting with the leftmost button, which when you hover over it says configuration, well, you get a configuration window which allows you to adjust the webcam, uh, keep your aspect ratio, discontinue automatically, your video output if you want to I'll put it horizontally, snap and record, and take pictures, make recordings. The second button over says show slash hide desktop screen. And clicking that one brings us right up to, well, now when I hover over it, it says, what? Not much of anything. Oh, show hide desktop screen. So again, um, these buttons can be used in an uh, assortment of like, pushing one uh, affects the other, which if you click the third without having done the second would provide uh, give you a, an alternate result if you are following along. So show high desktop screen brings that back up. Now, obviously the first time it brought the webcam full view. So the third button says show and hide webcam. So I'll make the webcam disappear. The second button also disappears and is no longer an option. 
So the webcam is not visible. I've still from earlier selected to show the immediate area around the mouse and that's what you're seeing now as I cruise around the desktop surface. Now over here where there is nothing for you but for me I have the control panel. I'm going to show hide camera again. I uh, click the second button, third button, and reduce that up into an inset panel. Now if I want to stop showing the uh, area immediately around the mouse, perhaps show the whole screen, I would skip ahead to button number six. But we'll stick with four, which says switch between the desktop and the desk cam. I need to learn how to look into the webcam here. Okay, and there you go. Switching there takes you from the webcam with an inset to the desktop with an inset webcam. Uh, the fifth button I had already alluded to earlier when I mentioned uh, capturing just the area immediately around the mouse, just for uh, an example there. There we go. Now the sixth button says capture the entire desktop. And as you can see there, then if I switch, you'll get the whole desktop uh, full screen mode. You can also choose to capture a small portion of the desktop. Bring that up with a rectangular grid. You can use a bulletin, drag and drop, uh, highlight just a specific window, and bring that up. Or, and I didn't know that until I clicked there, the last option, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, ninth window says drag and drop tab. So I don't know what I was able to move that window around somehow. Okay, and there's actually, I guess, a tenth button that comes into view there at the very end. It says capture. I'll now capture this file. I've saved it. There it is. I want to show you my full desktop. Um, we're reviewing it. Increase it for you. And let's just go back to the screen cam in. And I hit the fourth button. Switch it whole with the inset desktop. Go to the small mouse cursor button and explain the buttons as I work my way through the next textorial. Oh, tutorial. Uh, hmm. Time to edit this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh uh, gosh, how do I stop this thing? Click. Stop, record. Oh, ah, there you go. And you were able to follow along. Thank you.